No, she's got an iPad. Oh, no. Uh, no, there's no games or anything. It's oh, just because I have a, <laughs> games. a terrible memory. Okay. I, I used to be able to remember my questions, so now I can't. Last person no. who brought an iPad in had a quiz, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I, used to have, I used to play games with really? this all the time, and yeah. now I'm like, okay, let's just keep it simple. <laughs> it's more work for me, frankly, coming up with games. Uh, anyway, guys, lovely to meet you nice for to meet you. The King. Me too. Which, it is only loosely based on Shakespeare's Henry V, right? But... When you're doing a film like this and you hear about it, do you go back and be like, right, let me do some research at least on, on the past, on, on all the plays and everything? As much as it is you know, great to have a kind of general knowledge of the Shakespeare and, and, and what goes on in those plays, um, you know, just out of kind of respect for the, the, the inspiration that is drawn from there and, and just, the, you know, the, the, just the kind of different ways that this story's been interpreted throughout the years, it was more important for me personally, just about my character too focus on the real history and just learn about who she really was as a person. I mean, she's so fascinating and uh, she's, the way that, that she's uh, written and portrayed in this movie is quite a departure from how she's portrayed in the play. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was it was uh, more important to kind of focus on her, her real history. Tom, was it nice for you being able to use your just normal accent. Everyone else is working on their accents, right? You've got French mm. accent yeah, and Tim's Tom doing had it so easy. You, you had it so, it was nice, yeah. right? Just first, to be your First story. time, I yeah. think. First time I've been able to use my normal accent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. It was, uh, it was great. I'm, I'm either doing Irish or RP or something wild. Um, so yeah, no, I think it was, it was lovely. It was you lovely. weren't analyzing Timothy's accent and being like, oh, it doesn't sound... No, because he was great. Um, <laughs> it was great. It, Joel was, Joel's accent was closest to what mine is. Um, okay. Yeah. Doing his northern, yeah. but he did he did the north of England proud with that. Obviously, we've got Timothy as the king. Ben gave me some great qualities about what he thinks, why he thinks Timothy makes a great king. So, for you guys, what do you think it is about Timothy that makes him a great king? His understated power, I think. Oh, I like yeah. that. Okay, I think that um, he has a he he brings a an emotional vulnerability to any role that he takes on, just kind of even without trying to. I think that's just part of his talent and, and his gift, and so I think that's why he brought a quality to, to this king that I haven't really seen done before. Mm. And adored job. by the masses as well. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, everyone has been talking about his bowl haircut, which I know that he was super uncomfortable with at the beginning, which I guess you would be. Have you guys got any hairstyles which if they told you you'd have to do it, you'd be like, Oh my god, I don't want to do that to my hair. The one I have in the film. Oh, yeah, well, I guess you, you were very that is similar. so right? offensive. Oh, yeah, that's true. You kind of had to do that as well. There wasn't any kind of about it. It was, <laughs> it was there. Well, fully. It was, yeah, it was full, full on. on. But now that you've done it, you'd be like, right, next time there's nothing that bothers Well, I was saying before, I love I loved that about my job. I get to sort of transform my image all the time. And uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. I used to do it at school a lot and get told off for it because it was against uniform regulations and stuff like that. And... <laughs> I just thought, oh, sack it. You know, I, just, I find it fun looking oh, different, always, being different, getting up in the morning. Yeah. yeah. I think it always just depends on the role. Like, I would do almost anything to my hair for the right role. Just really? depends on the story. Yeah. Dying it, that. cutting it. Yeah. Shave it off. Totally. It's part of the job. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and if there was one thing that you could implement as a king or queen in today's world, what's one thing that you would like to do? I'd start, it'd be something to do with climate change and I'd probably <laughs> stop um, single-use plastic. I know that's not very fun. No, that's fine. Timothy went for a little climate crisis, change as well. You guys so. are all very conscious, climate conscious, which is not a bad thing in today's I mean, you have to be. era. No, I, I, I agree. I can't uh, pinpoint a specific uh, thing that I would do to, to kind of uh, to, to, to spearhead that, but I think that's definitely a step in the right direction is, is climate change and definitely one of the most kind of urgent ones. I think I would definitely jump on Tom's bandwagon and say definitely go for the climate change for sure. There you go. On that's the important. same wavelength. Yes. On the same wavelength. Representing Greta. Yes. <laughs> Just doing amazing Killing things, girl. right? I was saying to the other guys, I was like, the comparisons between how stars get treated and how kings and queens get treated are very similar, right? Have you found that as as celebrities, the way you, you know you get to stay in nice hotels and people wait on you, and it's an interesting parallel that can be drawn between this this story and uh, and and modern times. I think there's also a lot of important differences as well, uh, you know, in terms of just yeah, just the also just the time periods are very different and everything, and hopefully, um, you know, we 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 can be kind of I don't know. I think it's interesting. Also, I think it, it, it it's 
comes with like how you see yourself is the most important part of it. I feel like, you know, as royals, it's very much a part of your identity. Whereas I feel like being in, in this position or working in this business, uh, to me, it's really important um, for it not to be a part of my identity. You know, being Absolutely. like being in the public eye in any way, I feel like, um, as much as I like as little as I can internalize that or, or, or like you know I would never want to see myself in that light and I feel like as royals you kind of have to yes so I think that that's an important that. difference and also the way that you know actors are treated very nicely it's very sporadic you know it's, it's only when you're it's only when you're doing things like this and you're sort of promoting films and stuff it's not you know for royalty it's every hour of every day yeah. that you're that you're alive um you know, but for us, we, we, we go and do our own thing and are yeah, very self-sufficient. I go home and my dad treats me like, and my mum, to be fair, treats me like a princess. Well, <laughs> really? Well, look, look, look. Yeah, we're, we're I am all, spoiled we're royalty. We're all royalty. <laughs> we're all royalty. <laughs> <laughs> if we had the right people around us. <laughs> Guys, lovely to see you. Good luck with the film. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. 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 No! <laughs>